This is a tale of the vaquita. Once upon a time, a beautiful animal inhabited these waters. Her shy eyes were covered in a black shadow. And her timid voice was hidden to human ears. She used to emerge for a second to breathe and then disappeared again, melted with the sea. Like a ghost, so subtle and faint that no one could reach. But greed of poachers was immense and deeper than the sea. And they didn't stop until the sea was empty and this animal was gone. She was called Vaquita, and this is a story we don't want to tell our children. This specific subject about the vaquita marina has been fascinating me for years because I've been in Sea Shepherd, Mexico and been there volunteering for around three years. And I've been giving all this conference about the vaquita and it has been fascinating me for years. Many people in San Felipe have never seen it and it's very easy, I guess, to, to think it doesn't exist because we can always close our eyes, don't see the problem and say, no, it doesn't exist. There is many things that you don't need to see to know they, they exist. We don't need to see the oxygen to believe that it exists. The totoaba is also very related to this other corvina in China. This is like actually why they, they started taking the totoabas out of here, because they almost got extinct. One type of fish all the way in, in Jiangsu. Just because some Chinese want this aphrodisiac, it's just nonsense. We have to really rethink and learn from this mistake. If we continue fishing the totoa, the totoaba will disappear. And we have no idea what will come up there. We have no idea what we take one piece out, how can it just build after, we just get destroyed and fall everything apart. Because we don't know how these things are connected, how is everything delicately connected to each other. We just don't want a desert beneath our oceans and a desert on land. We have so much more, so much responsibility. And that makes me afraid, I think, is the thing that hurts me the most. The extinction of species, because it makes me feel ashamed of being a human. As a Mexican, I feel a shame that a species, an endemic species that belongs here, this is the place that it has been for thousands of years living in harmony, is going to go extinct by our watch, by <laughs> our eyes. And with most people not knowing about this species that it has been here, has lived here. So why, how can we get to the point to, in a blink of an eye, completely destroy a species? We just don't know where we are standing on. This is a mega diverse country. We have so much, so much of everything. And these species are going to extinct, and this is not going to be the only one. So when we realize that we're just one grain of sand in this universe, and you think that we just come and disappear, the only thing that's really important is what we, the impact that we have on something or someone else. If you have a mindset of thinking that you make this, the world a better place, you're always swimming against the current. 
but it's so much better and you feel so much better and you know that you're not swimming alone. And this is what you get in experience of sharing with all these people and the crew. There's just so much passion, so much commitment.